What's going on, YouTube? Uh, really not a whole lot of things happening, but I did find some cool stuff. And I'm going to show that now, but I just want to give an update to everybody that my mail route is doing awesome. Uh, actually, it's making me, my ankles and my back and my foot and my feet, they're feeling better gradually. So I've only been on it a couple of weeks. I can tell the difference. Um, it's really nice that people love me because the mail carrier before me was a jerk. So they're getting like spoiled now. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like them, <laughs> and they, I, they love me. <laughs> they love the hell out of me, which is very welcoming. I miss some of my old customers and everything, but uh, it's a small town. I can, I've gone over there and seen some of the people that I used to deliver to. It's very, very hard for me to change. I hate change normally, but I know when it's for the for the betterment of me, I have to do it, and that's normally what I do, and I stick to it. So that's going great. A few cards to show. Um, it's, uh, it was two days ago, yesterday, it was, it snowed like about three or four inches and then it rained all day. So the, the snow plugged up the storm sewers and that rain came and there's just standing water some, in some places that it's just, it's nutty. It didn't get a chance to drain anywhere. Um, today all that standing water turned into ice Tomorrow it's going to be really cold, so it's going to be like a high of like 19. So it's going to be teens most of the day. It's going to be ice rinks everywhere. So, teeth not can not fall in cartoon kind of a arms flailing kind of a way on my rear end. Because, you know, it's, I, I have less, I have a month before I turn 40. And I'm telling you right now, if I fell down in my 20s, on the ground, I'd hop right back up. It's different now. <laughs> it's, it, it's a lot different. If I fall down now, you might have to you know, like put me in traction. It's, it's it's not quite to that point, but it's yeah, it's not good. Uh, aches and pains of hey, they catch up to you. All the things I think I was flying and doing fine in my twenties, and I. I it's all caught up to me. I'm getting old. But that's okay. Old is only as far as you can take it. As I feel like a kid. Uh, I think like a kid. Unless I don't. Unless I have to do adult shit. Because everyone has to do it. But um, if I don't have to think about anything adult. I'm usually not doing anything. What pe people seem. People. The stigma of being an adult. I read comic books. I collect cards. It's not really adult things to do normal all the time. And more, it's not really... It's it's looked at, oh, you're weird. And I don't mind people thinking I'm weird. That's fine, whatever. Because I'm doing what it's, I like. It's not hurting anybody. So if you if I'm going to read comic books or... Geez, I get, I get laughed at because I read regular books. When did that become like not like acceptable i don't know <laughs> why am i off uh, over here when i'm supposed to be over here but anyways that's that's i don't even know where i got to there how did i get there that is a day in the life of me <laughs> i go in such a roundabout way how do i get to that anyway you know what i gotta stop saying anyway because i say it a lot i gotta transition a little bit better um so we're gonna move on and to the cards. Um, boy, I found some cool stuff. Um, not terrible high dollar amount stuff, but stuff I wanted. Uh, what I am getting though, um, and Luke is already being my eyes for it for the Super Bowl Auto set because he does that set. There, Andre Ryzen in a Packer uniform is coming out, and I'm pumped. I don't know how many of you uh, Packer fans are pumped as I am for that. I've been wanting his autograph. In a Packer uniform, because um, everybody else on that team has got something. Uh, the major players, you know, Reggie was on that team. He had Favre, you know. If they ever came out with like a Doug Evans or a, or a Craig Newsom new card, I would be all over that. I mean, you can't get Brian Williams because he's passed away, but because he had an interception in that game, our linebacker number fifty-one, um, a Mark Pryor. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they had like Leroy Butler already, and um, you know, I don't know if I want Darren Sharper. <laughs> but uh, but there there a lot of the major players had cards. Then you Chamara, you know, he just never Desmond Howard didn't have stuff, but never Andre Risen. So uh, in a Packer uniform, there is now, but it's on like a triple or a dual of I can't remember what product. So I'm excited for on card Andre Risen card. He was a big part of what, how, why we did so well in that last stretch. Um, got him for nothing. We needed receivers because t- we had uh, Freeman out with a broken arm and uh, Robert Brooks was out for the year with his knee. So we were down to Dom Beebe and Terry Mickens. We needed some help. <laughs> so Andre Risen was a big part of that. And then when Freeman came back, he just kept on going. So I'm excited about that. I haven't even showed a card yet. That's okay. Card stuff, knowledgeable stuff. My soup, my team. I like talking about my team. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like talking about their team? Anyways, I did it again. Mm, gotta stop that. Moving on. Let's show some cards now. How about that? Um, I picked up this. I have one of these already, but I want. I saw one for like a couple bucks. Um, thirteen fifty-eight out of fifteen hundred. Passing the torch of star. Oh boy, the. It's got cloudy, so the lighting's going to be a little crappy. So, there we go. That's not bad. Just the Passing the Torch regular card. So, I think i got a couple of these now. I like those. And if I, I've seen sometimes they go over like $15. I won't pay that. I'll pay a couple bucks. There's $1,500. Or actually, with the autographs of these, there is 1350 of these. So, if I find one for a couple bucks, I like them. I like them. I'd like to get one 9.5 BGS. I looked at this one, uh, centering left to right. It's very, very good. Otherwise, I it's close. But I want to be sure. You know, I'm going to have someone look at these two. Um, not like I don't trust myself. It's just that I like... Uh, I, uh, I like having an extra set of eyes and maybe they see something I don't it's never hurts to do that so I picked up a insert um I also wow I almost launched this <laughs> um I'm not much for new rookies but I I I do like picking up one card of of some I don't have any Marquez Marquez Valdez Scantling I don't have a Caninius St. Brown but I I really I picked up the cornerbacks I, or a cornerback. I need another one yet, but I really like this on card auto. Um, jersey number inscribed number seventy two out of nine from seventy two out of ninety nine. Slow down. I can. I usually talk pretty fast. Um, but um, of Joshua Jackson, I really like this kid. Um, even though he had a rough, rough year, um, I don't think it's going to dissuade him at all. I think uh, I think he'll be very. Um, motivated to get better i mean he had to play a big role um uh, rookie year uh because we had kevin king out for most of the season so with him and kevin if he could just go to the slot and just be on tight ends i think we that's his gonna be his spot what a beautiful card though i got it for like 10 bucks i mean come on i mean that's i immaculate card I, I really enjoy that. I'm going to put those in the mags, of course, eventually, uh, just for now. Put it back in its top loader. Uh, I have one in the package, and I have this. Well, I just want, want to show this one. Uh, blow a card forms. I kind of was, I always search star. Just put in Bart Star's name and see whatever comes up. And I found this one on a for sale site, on a for sale um, thread. Mine just went blank there for a second. But very, very nice out of 25. And I, I think I paid pretty high for it. But I think um, I think this kind of stuff is starting to really creep up. And I probably maybe paid really low for it in the long run. But um, I paid 30 bucks for this. And I thought it was worth it. Um, game used out of 25. Uh, Bart Star patch with the green and gold patch. So very, very nice. And this is at 08 Limited. Which is limited is my stuff. Very shiny front. Um, I like the patched window. 
But I wish it was three color, but uh, what can you do? That's a very nice card, though. Uh, thirty bucks for a something out of twenty-five a star. It doesn't get like it. It's getting higher and higher. It is very very tough. Um, kudos to the blow guy who sent it in a mag. Uh, because my star stuff gets magged. All of it. Uh, almost all. Of it. I still have to get some more mags for my base stuff. <laughs> I put stuff. I put mags on my base stuff. It's. I like the look of it. No two ways around it. Um, but uh, we're moving on to this card. Uh, it's from Mr. Michael Phillips. I had just, I had some PayPal, and Michael was selling off some of his stuff, and I have an autograph of this guy, but it's a cut autograph. Uh, so I'm always on a lookout to upgrade, and I found he had one that he was selling that. I said, yeah, well, it's time to upgrade. I just got won some fantasy football money. And I said, yeah, let's do it. Because now I can move my other one. And this will end up costing me probably like 20 bucks. In the long run. You know. And it's much more eye appealing. And thank you, Michael. It's the, I think this bubble mailer has seen its last time. Last use. And... Sends it like a pro. Thank you for the decoys in front of the card. That is what I do all the time. I use decoys like crazy. Uh, and he sent in a mag, of course, because Michael's Michael. Uh, from 97 Legends. Upper Deck Legends. Uh, the Ray Nitschke on-card autograph. Um, I have a cut autograph of his from 09 UD Black. And this is way more desirable. Of course, it is. I I, I always said I was going to get around to it, get around to it, and it just happened to, um, it's all about timing for me. You know, uh, things were lined up this uh, this time around, you know? Michael had it available. I had won some, some fantasy football money. So I got myself an upgrade. And it's a beautiful signature on card. It's gorgeous, and not too bad condition for these cards, because of the black, dark borders up here in the bottom right here. Usually, if there's nicks in the corners, they really show out real bad. But this is really not bad. It's really it's pretty good. Someone took care of this card, uh, and Michael was the is was one of those people. And and thank you, Michael, for the awesome shipping and being a cool ass dude. Um, so that's all the cards. Um, that's it. I, I got, I'm still got project modes going on and I, I, I'm, I'm terrible at finishing projects. So I'm still doing stuff. Um, so, but I do, I'm very, very, I, my project stuff, if it's my star stuff is all organized. My Spectre Hall of Fame stuff is all organized. My Packer PC is all organized. Everything else is like by wayside. <laughs> it's so tough for me to, to get into it. But uh, like, look at this. Look at this. I bought this from Michael. How long ago? Uh, the, the Topps Chrome Mini Rainbow of Randall Cobb. I still haven't done anything with it. It's just sitting here. I tell you what. I like I says, I I get I get sidetracked. I get really, really sidetracked. I got, I got, <laughs> yeah, I got one minute left, but I got, look at, look at the, oh my goodness, I can't even pick it up. Like, stuff I wanted to, I got some Ty Montgomery rainbow stuff. I'm still looking for the one on one of that, but, like, this out of 50 Aaron Rodgers, I wanted to, it's just, you know, just weird stuff. Um, a stack of Odell Beckhams from Chrome Mini, some, I'm waiting for to sell as a lot, you know. I got some nice Beckhams in there. I got a stack of. I went through my. I was going through my 14 Chrome Mini stuff because I have so much of it. I sold all the. I sold all the, the Garoppolo's, thank God before they went to shit. But here's like a stack of, their cards. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you next time and hopefully it's soon. Love you guys.